Welcome, friends. Going carnivore in Thailand. Day number 21. Three weeks. Wow. It's been three weeks. The scale says my weight's the same, but my body don't feel like it's the same. My body feels like it's losing inches somewhere or the other. I don't understand it. Uh, this morning, I decided to try the rest of the brisket that was overdone. I can't do it. Right. Fucking thing sucks. Yes, it was overdone. The brisket sucked. I have brisket left. I didn't actually eat the rest of the brisket. I ate about half of what I probably should have. Got disgusted, put it up on the shelf, and uh, probably going to slice it up and make a dog run. Might might find some dogs that look like they'd enjoy some brisket and give it to them. Uh, got a question for you. Noi just started her carnivore adventure and the change and she's going through mental withdrawal from all the vegetables and stuff but more importantly without really showing rashes she's itching now I've researched on the internet I've seen where people show this keto rash with scaly little lesions around your neck and but she's itching like on her arm. And uh, I remember when I first started, I itched right here, like uh, right where my armpits were on the outside. I had a little itch in here. I had a little itching around my neck and the back of my neck. And I thought that was just from being in a pool every day in the sun, maybe getting a little bit more sun because I'm out there getting about half an hour worth of sunshine every day, and then the other half an hour I'm in the pool, I try to exercise more in the shade. So that's the way it goes there. So if anybody out there really has got some insight on, did you get itchy when you first started key carnivore? And if so, how long did it last for you? Can you tell us in the comments? I would really appreciate that. And if anybody out there gives a damn, happy Chinese New Year celebrations to you. They're celebrating that around here. It's amazing how many people care about Chinese New Year around here because this pool villa community, people are shooting up fireworks in the street and from their backyards and just trying to make a lot of loud noise. So just because the Chinese said that they invented gunpowder, uh, 1,300 years ago or so. Why do they always have to make so much goddamn noise about it? I don't understand. It's just, I never did understand that just for a couple people, you go out and you just buy something and make a bunch of noise. Of course, now I have been known on to want to make noise and just go out and shoot off like 35 rounds out of a semi-automatic weapon hopefully a large caliber one I've done that before used to use shotguns at New Year's Eve got a funny story about that damn near killed a guy it was an accident would change my life but the weapon broke when them break down shotguns I broke it down I was reloading it the next day. I was getting ready to raise it up, and it was pointing at somebody. And I had enough sense to say, well, that's not why. So I went like this. I turned it. I, let, I raised the barrel way high in the air, and I closed it. And when I closed it, it's supposed to just cock it and go into safe mode. But it cocked it and then released it and blew one of the barrels right over top of this guy's head. And blew a hole like that big into the drywall. Went into the bedroom in the other end. It was an apartment I was renting. I was about 18 years old. And just peppered the ceiling with buckshot. And uh, this guy went into shock. Turned 18 shades of gray and white. 
and then just looked at me and said, reached up and grabbed that shotgun out of my hand and said, give me that goddamn gun. And uh, had I not been safety conscious enough to lift it up in the air, even though it's supposed to be safe, a gun with a bullet in it is never safe. If you have ammunition and a gun, it's never safe. I lifted it up like that and then closed it and it went off. I took it to a gunsmith about a week later. He says, yeah, it's broken. You want me to fix it? And I said, yeah, you can fix it. Cut the sum of bitch in half and let's throw it in a trash so it don't hurt anybody else. It was a Spanish-made shotgun. And uh, I later found out that that was a real... Uh, Turned out, 20 years later, to be a rather expensive Spanish shotgun that I decided to just carve up and break up because I almost killed a friend. But there's another tidbit from Thailand, another story from my past, and that's it. So you all have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, leave me a comment and said, the end. Because I wonder when a, when a video gets a little long, this is hitting up to six minutes here, so. Did you make it six months, even with a good story? I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Going carnivore in Thailand. Do it, baby. That's all, folks.